What's up? Again, it's Brandon here. Also known as Play Jump. Now, here are the top three reasons of why I hate your streams. You gotta fix it. Number one is you don't say hello to your viewers in chat. If you're streaming and you got your chat open and all that, and someone says hello, genuinely you'd say hello back to them and start making a conversation. However, some people don't actually say hello to a chat until like five minutes later then you finally glance over to your chat and you're like, oh, someone said hello to me. I'll say hello to them now. You are too late. You know what happened? After 10 seconds, they left. Why? Because you didn't say hello to them when they took the courtesy and the time out of their day to say hello to you. So remember that always check your chat. Like if, if there's a cutscene on, on your game, look at your chat. If there's dialogue, check your chat if you're in a fight check your chat keep in mind you gotta always keep on checking your chat check every like couple of minutes like mentally in your head like count up a time or uh, you eventually get used to just checking and checking over and over again get used to that even if you got one viewer or you got a hundred viewers or a thousand viewers always be looking at your chat because that one person can turn into two people Three people, four people, five people, because you know what? Because you said because you said hello to someone, because someone typed in your chat and they said hello to you, and you said hello back to them. They're like, oh, this guy seems really cool. I'm gonna get my friend Bob to come and join in and watch the stream with me because he seems like a chill dude. What happens? You go two people. Bob tells someone three people, and Bob's friend tells another two people. That's five people. Snowball effect, right? And interacting your chat, interacting with your chat is genuinely fun, in my opinion, because I've had great conversations with my viewers, and it's been awesome. Number two is you're playing a game that is super duper popular, for example, Fortnite or Apex Legends or League of Legends. They are all super popular games, and yes, I understand that you want thousands and thousands of people watching you, but just because a game is popular doesn't mean you're good at the game, right? For example, with me, I used to stream Fortnite, and I used to try and get good at Fortnite. Am I good at Fortnite? No, I'm not. I am terrible. I can't even get a single kill, right? But you know what game I rather play? I rather play something like Kingdom Hearts and play that because I like that game and I'm good at that game. Some up-and-coming streamers actually play games that are new, but they're not good at it, which generally means they're not having fun while doing it. Now, that also means if they're not having fun, you're probably not having fun watching them either because you can tell when someone's having fun on your stream and you can tell by their body language, the way they talk, if they're sitting up correctly, if they're smiling, if they're frowning, it's very obvious to tell. So if you're not into a very popular game, it doesn't matter, you know. If you just want to chat to your viewers, just go in the just chatting section of Twitch and just do something there. If you want to do ASMR and you like ASMR, go do that. Just pretty much do whatever you enjoy. So you enjoy and you like doing your stream. That means other people also like to stream because you're bringing off a very good vibe. Number three is to keep your audio balancing very good. Whether you're playing a game, you're watching something on YouTube with your viewers, pretty much anything. You don't want your microphone to be loud like this. Hey guys, how's it doing today? How about that? Or you don't want to be like this where you can't really hear what people are saying. You want a nice middle ground between the two. And you can do this by checking your VODs. If you've done a stream in the past, you can go check on that. Then you get to see uh, maybe my voice needs to be higher or lower. My game needs to be higher or lower. And adjust it within your OBS settings. Or what you can do is you can actually record your gameplay about a minute of it or so before you start streaming. See if the audio of your game and audio of your microphone is okay. And generally if it's okay on your recording settings, it will be fine on your streaming. So just remember to always keep a check on that. And also if you have viewers that are in or if you got a friend that can pop in for a quick five minutes and you can be like hey tim what i need from you is a little bit of help i'm trying to audio balance stuff correctly i don't want the game too high i don't want my voice too high or too low please help me 
you play for five minutes, you tweak things, tweak things, and eventually you get a nice middle ground. Now that's what you're going for. Now, that's what I have for you guys today. There are three reasons why I do not like your streams. If this has been helpful, say in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a like. If you want to, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you check out my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Twitch. I stream... I stream Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, genuinely, genuinely from 9 to 1 Australian Central Standard Time, and if not, I'm gonna probably put that on my Twitter, or I'm gonna put that on a story on my Instagram, so keep a check out for those two, and every single follow and all of that from here, and Twitch, or anywhere, it's much appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.